Hi, this is Sarah from Crafty Creatures here with your jumping shark painting. We're going to start with our canvas, our paint brushes, something to wash those brushes in, our paints, our pencil, and we're going to need a ruler or something that will help us make a nice straight line. So even if you just use another piece of paper or some cardboard, just anything to make a nice straight line somewhere around the middle of our canvas. Then we're going to start drawing out our shark tail. So we're going to have kind of the tail end of the shark, so we're going to need a nice big tail with a pair of fins at the end. We want this right in the middle of our canvas and a little bit below that line. We're also going to give it a, a top fin and a little bottom fin that's a bit smaller. Now we want to draw nice and light, that way we can erase any mistakes or any changes we want to do, as well as those lines that kind of connect our fins to our bodies. We're also going to add a line to the bottom of the shark tail. This is just where the tail is coming out of the water. And you can darken up your pencil line so you can go straight to painting. We're going to start by adding a couple big scoops of white to some green and blue. We're going to make a nice bluey green. So we're going to add a little bit of each color at a time till we get the color we like. I wanted something that was a little bit like a teal so I added a bit more blue, just as long as it looks a little bit more green than our original blue. Now you want to stir till it's all one color, till it's all the same and there's no little bits of other colors. Then we're going to start painting in our water. So this is going to be everything that's not our shark that's below that line we made in the beginning. And I like to use up what's on my little mixing brush and then my little brush for any of the small parts. And then I'll go ahead and use my big brush to fill in the rest. Now that our ocean is done, we're going to flip it around and we're going to start in the sky. So this time we're going to add some white to just a bit of regular blue. We want to make a nice light blue. And we're going to start by painting this nice light blue just above our water, about a couple of widths of our fingers wide. And we're going to make a nice stripe just above the water and we're going to go carefully around the edges of our shark. If we get a little bit on there, that's okay. We just want to keep as much of the paint off there as we can. Once we've filled in all this space, we're going to go ahead and add some more blue to that mix. We're going to make it darker. We don't want it as dark as a regular blue, but we can make it pretty close. Once we have our medium blue, it's time to start filling in the rest of the sky. So we're going to fill this in all the way to the top. We're going to take our time going around the edges of our shark tail because we want to keep it nice and clean. But we can fill it all in with a little brush or we can switch to the big brush. The choice is yours. So once we finish that sky, we can flip it around. Now we're going to use our little brush and we're just going to start dabbing some white paint on there. Because our canvas is very wet, this is going to kind of blend and we're going to get some nice fluffy clouds. So I'd recommend taking a little bit of white and putting it to the side to do this. That way you don't get any blue in the rest of your white. And you can add just a couple of little clouds or a bunch of big clouds or a little bit in between. It's up to you. Next we're going to start making some waves in our ocean. So we're going to make some blue or we can mix in a little bit more blue to our teal. And we're going to make a few stripes kind of on either side of the shark here and below the shark. We want to use our little brush for this. We want to keep them fairly thin. And we can brush in some regular blue as well to make them a little bit darker. 
Or if you want them even darker, we can mix some blue and purple together and brush that underneath. See how much darker that looks now and it makes my ocean look really nice and pretty, gives it some color. Next we're going to make a nice gray. We're going to use a little bit of black to a lot of white. And we're going to make a kind of medium or light gray. And then we're going to start filling in our shark. Now we want to go slow along the corners of the fins and any of the points. This way we can make it nice and sharp. And going slow will give us a little bit more control as well. Once we've got our tail finished, we're going to wash our big brush really, really well. We're going to dry it off and we're going to start dipping just the ends of the bristles into the white paint. We're going to add a nice big layer of white like this below our tail and we're going to add them to the tops of our waves. So just above those dark shadowy stripes we've made. We want to keep just the bristles in the paint and we don't want to press too hard. This is going to make a nice foamy froth like we see in the ocean. And then we can take our little brush and add some more splashes, maybe even some lines, just to make the tail look like it's really crashing into that water. All right, good job, everybody. Thanks for painting with me today. I'll see you next time for a new painting. Bye-bye.